Hello boys and girls and welcome to another food video with your virtual chef Nathaniel. Boom. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with the cornflake tart. It's a traditional old school classic. I loved it at school. It was one of my faves. I'm going to show you how to do other puddings over the weekend. But today we are doing this. So basically we'll start off. I've bought this very cheap, 89p or something like that, a pound at the very most at Aldi, yeah? So it's already rolled out, it's already done. I'm cheating, in a way, yeah? I don't care. So, Pyrex dish, boom, there we go. And all you want to do is open your pastry, which is not hard to do, unless you mean. And you can't do it, because you're a knob. Oh, what a dick. There we go. Ooh. Pop this out of there. And it's already done for you, so how easy is that, guys, yeah? You just want to layer this into your bowl. Just enough as well for this Pyrex dish. That will look her. And you basically want to put it round just like that. All the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to trim it anyway. Straight after, yeah? Go like that. You want to get some scissors. You want to a little trim round. Right, you want to partition this as well, yeah? So basically, what I mean by that is... You're going to weigh it down. You're going to put it in the oven, which I'm going to turn on now. At 160, if it's fan assisted, 180 if not, yeah? Just like that. Very easy. And all you've done is that. Very, very easy, guys. Very easy. I'm just going to trim that a little bit more. A bit more neat. Yeah? Trim it right out. Nearly chop your finger off. That's not in, you know, what you're supposed to do, but never mind. Something new for the weekend. Boom. There we go. We've done that. Now I'm going to use this grease poof, uh, grease poof, this grease proof paper, yep, and I'm going to, I'm going to weigh this down, so this wants to go in for 15 minutes like this, yeah, so all I'm going to use, you can use dry pasta or dry rice, yeah, and all you're doing is you're weighing it down, just like that, yeah, weigh it down, now, it is so easy guys, yeah, there we go, pop that in, and that wants to be in for 15 minutes, guy. 180 if I'm not a fan of 160 if so. Boom, back in 15 minutes. Right, guys, so I'm going to take it out of the oven now. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to take the partition out, yeah, which is the rice and the grease proof paper. Just weigh it down with your paper, yeah? Basically, just like that. Just like that, guys. A little bag. Just like that. And then you want to put it back in. Yeah, for about five to ten minutes. You want it to go golden brown, but not burn. Yeah, obviously. So, there we go. There we go, right. There we go. Right, you stick that back in. So, I'm going to have to swig my dark fruits, and I shall be back inside. So, it's burn. Hi guys, so I'm back. So basically that's in there for five to ten minutes till it goldens, yeah? So I'm gonna show you that, right? What the hell was that? Well, I don't even know what that one was. Anyway, right, so I've got 50 grams of butter, which is way down, yep. I have my 25 grams of brown sugar, yeah? Or cooking sugar, yeah, basically. And also 125 grams of golden syrup. Yeah, I'm going to put all this in the pan, so I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to put the butter in first. Just like that. The pan's nice and hot, so it's going to melt straight away. Don't worry, put that in the microwave for about 20 seconds, you'll get the rest of the butter, because you want the right measurements, yeah? There we go. And now, for the golden syrup. And you want it to be basically, when this is ready, you'll know, put the cornflakes in, because it'll, it'll go into like um, a smooth. So I mean, butter, boom, there we go. Straight in, very easy. Basically, you want it to be a smooth mixture, yeah? The consistency has got to be smooth. All right, and just basically like that, put it in your pan. Just like that, guys. Oh, I hate it. I love the taste of it, but I hate the stickiness of it. It's horrible. Yep, all right, there we go. And then your sugar. We just want to keep mixing that every few seconds, yeah? And basically, you'll have a paste like this, yeah? Very simple. It smells amazing. It smells very sweet, though. It is a very sweet one. So if you're looking at calorie pinching, 
I won't eat this. If you're looking at comfort food, I would. So, this is something I used to have at school and I absolutely loved it for custard. I don't know if you lot had it. I know all my mates that will be watching these videos they will have had it at the same school as me. So basically, it is that. Right, so I am just going to wash my hands. Right, so it's bubbling nicely, it's caramelised, yeah? So now I've already weighed out, I've already weighed out, so I've got 100 grams of cornflakes. I'm gonna put them in, and you're just gonna mix it together, guys, it's that easy, so easy. Right, with a spoon, fold it in, just like that, yep, just like that, fold all that in. I hope you're all staying safe, I hope you're all behaving. If you can't behave, be good at what you do, be good at being bad. Basically, all you're doing is you're just coating your cornflakes just like that, guys. Yeah, you see how they're starting to get shiny, a bit like frosted, but a lot sweeter. Yep, yeah. and that's all you need to do. Turn that down, you don't want it on too hot because you'll burn the sugar and you'll burn the syrup. So, there you go. So easy, guys, to make. So, so easy. And there we go. And you'll have it just like that. So that's ready to go on the side now. So basically, that should be nearly ready, that pastry. Because look, it's starting to crisp up. Just keep stirring them because you don't want them to set. Yeah, yeah. And there we go. And I will be back in a minute. So basically, that's been in now for five to ten minutes, yeah? It's been in ten minutes, man. So I'm going to get that out of the pastry. There we go. So you've got a little golden brown thing going on there, yeah? All you want to do now is layer that with jam. Now I've weighed out 125 milli, uh, 125 grams. Tell me. So basically, just evenly distribute it. Yeah, get it all in there. Want a little bit more jam? You can do, but I'm doing it by the rules of how I make it. So there we go. Evenly distribute it all the way around. Why were you creeping round this last night? Do you mean that for me? There's no fancy thing to this, it's very easy, it's very simple. Evenly distribute. Very simple guys, very simple. Keeping it all simple for you. Now this is not necessarily healthy. So, I do apologise. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. You've got your conflict mix. So easy. There we go. Just like that. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, your pastry. I mean, you're not cooking for Queen, do you know what I mean? I like home rustic food. I like mine to look home cooked. Lightly press it down, just like that, guys. And it is literally that simple. And this, if, if you was lucky enough to have this at school, you will know just how beautiful it is with custard. I mean, I've got some ambrosia custard. I am not making homemade custard today because it's a pain in the bum. Vanilla seeds and all that crap and jargon. I will, however, show you how to make homemade custard at some point. I'm not really sure of it. I am, I'd like to say to people, yes, I have to come board your requests. I am going to do a fake away like Leona, giving you a little shout out here. You will get your Donna Kebab meat homemade. Like creme brulee for I can't remember your name. That's bad, but I'm sorry. But there you go. Right. Anyway, cut the story short. I'm putting this back in now for another five minutes, and that is it, guys. And that is that done. Boom. I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys. So that's been in for five minutes. There we go. And voila, a beautiful, gorgeous conflict tart. I shall swing it round and show you. One mem momento. And there you go, conflict art. So easy, yeah? So, so easy, guys. Hello, my darlings. Right, I'll just turn my music down. You can actually bloody hear me. There we go. Right, so we're going to move on to the stir fry now. Firstly, you want to get your spring onion, yeah? You've washed your hands, you've sanitised yourself. I'm going to do it again, just to make a double shot. Bit of hand cream, never went. Never went with anybody. There we go. Right, so instead of chopping them like that, 
Chop them sideways, yeah? Horizontal. Just like that. Really simple, guys. Just like that. Now, I'm putting mushrooms in my stir fry. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Sorry, something cut me out there. So basically what we're doing there, yeah, we're making stir fry. So all you want to use now is your spring, spring onions, yeah, and I've cut them horizontally. So there we go, put them to a side. Mushrooms. Just like that. You don't have to chop as fast as me. Watch your fingers, please make sure you're safe. There we go. And that should be enough. There's only two of us. So basically, I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back. So basically, now we're going to move on to the chicken, yeah? So I've got gloves on. You don't have to wear gloves, but I'm going to. Yep, and you just want to chop it like that. There's no certain way of it, yeah? I like to know that there's chicken in mine, stir fry, yeah? So I'm going to cut it so it's like, basically like that, yeah? Because it's going to shrink anyway, guys. Because most of the shop box stuff, it's injected with water. It's not very nice, but that's why I tend to use butchers. But today I'm using Alder. So it's still cheap as this did. It's coming in probably, everything that I've bought is probably coming in at a tenner. Yeah? The dessert, as you've seen, it's big enough to feed about eight people. Stir fry, more than enough people, yeah? So just like that. Right, take the gloves off. It's simple as that. And I'll be back in a minute. Boom. Right, moving on to the next bit. So, I have some ground ginger, yeah? Now I'm making a base. Now I have bought a hoisin sauce. But you find if it's a big meal, the sauce will only go so far and it'll only taste so nice. You want to make it your own. So, proper dessert spoon, garlic. About half, yeah? Boom. Turmeric, uh, ginger, not turmeric, sorry, ginger. You don't want too much of this. Can't decide that I don't know. About the same, yeah? Half a tablespoon. Good glove of soy sauce, yeah? Good glove. There we go. And a little smidge of chilli powder. Because I love my chilli powder. Now, all we're going to do with this, give it a little wipe. Just knocked it everywhere. Because I'm a knob. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, like that. Right, so you've got a little base sauce there, yeah? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the chicken firstly. Here we go. Add your chicken. I've used two fillets, two large fillets. Wash your hands since you've just touched chicken. There we go. I've so washed my hands, done. Right, give that a little jiggle around, right? Where's your spoon? Where's your big spoon? Right. And just obviously, you know how to cook chicken. If you don't, then you shouldn't be cooking. Because it's too dangerous. But you'll see now, what I've done. So I've already flavoured this chicken, yeah? See that? It's already flavoured. So, that is like a base of the flavour. So you don't need some, well, I've got that, obviously, but that's gonna flavour your veg, that's gonna flavour your meat. Don't get me wrong, it will give flavour, but it'll only give flavour to a certain extent, yeah? So, that's why I'm making it a bit jazzier, a bit nicer, a bit tastier. So, there we go. Also, I wanted just to put out there while we're cooking, if you've got 60 seconds of time, message somebody, call them, video them. If you've not spoke to somebody for years and you've had a little hang up with them, Get over it. We're all in it together. Yeah? We're all in it together, guys. So just remember that we're all going through the same thing. Call them. Make sure they're all right. Take 60 seconds to listen about them. See how they are mentally because we're all struggling. It's not just me. It's not just you. Imagine being on the front line. Imagine being them people. It's not easy. Yeah? And the people that are related to them. You know, the wife, the husbands, the kids that are sat at home waiting for them to come home. Just imagine that. So, just listen to me guys, please, and do that for me. Don't hold grudges, life is too short. Right, you've had your 60 seconds of me having a go at you. <laughs> so anyway, look at that. You've already got your colour, you've already got your flavour, so what I put in there? Half tablespoon of garlic. 
half tablespoon of chilli, pinch of both of them, salt, pepper, boom. Right. Ginger, half a spoon. Do not go over the board with the ginger. The rest you can add flavour to your liking. Do not go over the board with ginger because it is a very, very potent flavour. I mean, I can't stand fresh garlic. I eat it and stuff. Uh, not fresh garlic, fresh um, ginger. Have a look then. See? But yeah, basically, it's. I don't know, I just don't. Mm, I don't like the look of it. I think it's quite ugly, ginger. Well, I've got massive pieces of chicken. I want to know I've got chicken. I want to know I'm eating a stir fry, yeah? You can cut it down small if you want. I mean, it's up to you. But I like to know, definitely. So, but yeah, this is almost like a steak away. I bought some cheap. Well, I said cheap. I well, they are cheap, but they're not cheap, cheap. But um, spring rolls from Alde. So, me. Not even a pound. Not even a pound, and I was going to show you today out of Mason, but unfortunately, with everything going on, they want the pastry that I needed, the filo and everything, so I will show you how to do it. And somebody requested for me to do salt and pepper chicken, I will be doing that this week coming. I'll be doing a full fake away. I'm going to show you how I make pronto, I make spring rolls, wontons, everything homemade, egg fried rice. So, it is so dead easy, guys. And I mean, some of you like sweet and sour or sweet and spicy um, soup I won't be doing that because I don't like it personally but I will be making chicken and sweet corn soup and you would not believe how easy it is guys I mean I've made it it's absolutely gorgeous look at that it's looking pen guys it's looking pen so chop that out it's a bit big there we go so big chunks of chicken beautiful and what I'm going to do with that now is I'm going to add some spring onions there Spring onions and a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of sugar. Just I'll take the spiciness. There we go. So it's half, half a tablespoon of sugar. And that'll caramelise everything as well. It'll bring it all together. Oh my god, wow. So I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning. Just follow the video guys, it's very easy. Healthy, tasty, boom. I'm going to do that and all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to leave that for like a couple of minutes and I'll be back and I'm back so I've left that for about five minutes look at that look at the sauces and the juices that have come out of it yeah so you're going to keep that in you're going to lock that in there you're going to lock it in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Pyrex dish I'm going to move that now into there so because I will be back in a minute after I've washed my wok and washed my hands and I'll show you the rest and I'm back. So, I bought this £1.29 from Alde Sweet Puncher Stir Fry. I'm only going to use half the bag, yeah? People go over the board with it, yeah? You don't need loads of veg. We've got noodles with it as well. We'll just give that simmer around. Now, it's going to be very bland and very tasteless. So, good old trusty dark soy sauce. Little glug of that, yeah? Just like that. I'm going to add, now I said optional, I'm going to add the mushrooms in, you don't have to have it, but we're going to season it. So like I said, there is basically a lack of flavour, and you want that flavour to be boom, yeah? So, there we go, give that a stir around, and you're not, you're not dashing out of the you know how to do it. I mean the smells now, you can tell the difference, yeah? The chicken's at the side, ready to go back in. We'll get to that, guys. We'll get to that. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. And the taste of soy sauce is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Come in. It's even got better colour to it. So, there we go. I'll keep stirring that for about five to six minutes. Because it'll stick to the pan very easily. I've put a tiny little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan, obviously, because you don't want it sticking. So I mean, it's getting a lovely flavour. I've not used all the pack yet, so I'm going to put that in the freezer. And that is actually ideal, that. You get the mixes with just the bean spout and the cabbage and stuff, the veg mix, without mushrooms and without peppers in. You can use that for the actual homemade spring roll. 
Make sure you soften the veg, get your filo pastry. It's very easy. Wrap them up in the spring roll. You can look online or I will be showing you. And deep fry or shallow fry, should I say. Deep fry doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll be using frying pan. So yeah. And you see, just like so, very easy, very, very nice. Now I'm going to add the chicken back. I just got all them juices that were in the bottom. And now we're just going to stir that up. I'm going to show you just how nice it looks. Look at that. Does that not look like a Chinese stir fry? Boom. It looks gorgeous, guys. And that is perfect. Not too much veg because you want more meat. You want to taste the meat, guys. You don't want to be bombarded by loads of beans, sprouts, and whatever else they've thrown in it. God knows. But yeah. So I mean, perfect. So then we're gonna go on to noodles. Now you don't need a full pack of noodles either. It's very filling this Chinese. That's what people don't realise. They make too much. And you can save, save, save. I freeze these as well once I use them all. I'm gonna put in about half, yeah? Just like that. Just unstrangle them. Unstrangle them. Not Just untangle them. Not unstrangle them. Oh god. Oh, I think I've had too many of that. So, and just mix it in like that. In fact, better. If you have these, don't worry. Just like that. Get a little stir around. Like that. As if you would with um, whatever they call them, chopstick. Just twist it round. Make sure everything is getting the same flavour. You've got to love your food. Do you know what I mean? Give it love. Give it nurture. I always knew when I was a kid, my great granddad cooked with love. I mean, it is a known fact in our family, as daft as it sounds, homemade chips, an omelette. Oh my god, that guy, there's no person that's ever come close. And I've met chefs and I've tried loads of food at nice places. No person has made food like my grandparents, I'm telling you. And that is done. Look at that. It doesn't look too. Don't look too grand on that screen. I will show you in a minute. Right, I'm gonna leave that just to bubble for a second, put them in the freezer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that off, leave it to rest in its flavours for five minutes, well, 10 minutes, while I just put my spring rolls in, yeah? So, I'll be back. Right guys, so I've left it standing for about a good five minutes, yeah? I want the flavours to lock in. Cool down a little bit. So I'm leaving this to the last minute. I'm gonna reheat it now. I'm gonna show you. You're killing your flavour off throughout. You know, when you're just putting this in straight away on your veg, it's not a stir fry, it's flavourless. You need to make a base of a flavour, yeah? There we go. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. DJ Gemini, one thing. Here yeah, you are. Come on, baby, don't you wanna dance with me? And guess you gotta do much better. Go ahead with me tonight. Look, oh, there you go. Perfect stir fry, guys. And your spring rolls should be done quite momentarily. So, absolutely gorgeous food. You wanna eat bland food? Go ahead. You wanna buy packeted stuff? And just follow all that, go ahead. You want to follow me? I'll show you just how to make it like you do at the shop, but to pack it with flavour and cook it properly. Yeah, I'm not trying to be patronising, not trying to wind you up, just telling you this is how it should be done. You want it to taste authentic and like a Chinese, this is how you do it. And that, the consistency, the flavours, everything, absolutely mwah, peng. Right, and there we go, I'll be back in a minute. And there we have it, boys. Gorgeous, homemade, fake away, cheat away, whatever you want to call it away, take away. Yep, with a gorgeous, gorgeous, classic, school classic, classic pudding that we used to all have as kids. There you go, conflict hat, ambrosia custard, there you go, boom. Stay tuned, guys, for more videos. Thank you for watching. Also, if you want to find me on YouTube, it's Nathan Washtowick, which is just my name, basically. Subscribe. If you want to share the videos, feel free. Stay safe, guys. Stay positive and stay looking after each other. We're all in it together. Thank you. Much love. Bye.